everybody and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix and I'm joined once again by Coda. Hello. <laughs> and today, uh, as the, the wheel has spoken for us, it has laid down this book of Hasman Hotel One Shots, where I guess we just date the entire hotel cast. <laughs> I guess so. I, yep, I guess that's where we are in our lives. <laughs> So it, it adds some excitement. This this is a collection of one shots, and this book has seventeen parts, and only ten of them are actual stories on here, <laughs> with like seven authors. <laughs> yep. So real excited for the content that we have now. It'll so, it'll be exciting. Mm -hmm. It is complete, but I'm pretty sure this is discontinued, and it ju the description just says Hasman Hotel does not belong to me. So we're off to a great start. <laughs> yeah, they had me fooled. Oh, damn, I thought they created this universe. Oh, damn. Man. That's crazy. <laughs> Man, I don't even want to read it anymore. <laughs> this is like when I was reading that fucking total drama fan fiction with you and you're like lost. I'm like, did this person just make all this shit up? This is great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're not gonna start the first one since that just explains that there's there's no lemons. So you can Yay. watch this and read this. And so we're gonna start with you mess with the bull, you get the horns. A Angel Dust X Bull Demon Reader. So yeah. we gotta replace these uh YNs and stuff in here. Alright, so what kind of name would a character be that is a bull demon? Bull demon. Um. Maybe something scary, because bulls have, like, a like a temper, you know? Mm-hmm. My first thought was just, like, Taurus, but, <laughs> um. Well, my first thought, because my brain went the silly route first, was Bingus. <laughs> But, <laughs> if we want to make it bull-themed. I think we have a Bingus in our OC catalog. Oh shit, we might already have a Bingus! Yeah, we do, from one of the Dang and Rampa ones. I think we named Oopsie, the Bingus. Poopsie. Yeah, well that shows how predictable I am. Oh yeah, it was the Leon one! <laughs> when we called oh, her God. Bingus! <laughs> we can't have double Bingus. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. I don't know. Mm. Maybe we should go with Taurus. Yeah, I mean it's a it's something to fall back on. Taurus. All right, and Ooh. I'm pretty sure there's hair length in here. So how 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 long is our hair? Medium. I'm just gonna put mid. <laughs> <laughs> so it just says our mid hair. Oh my god. All right. All right, warning. Swearing and slight suggestive themes. Please enjoy. Oh, God. All right, who would I'm like scared. to start this? I can flip my remote <laughs> if we need to. <laughs> uh, do you want to be the buttons or the backside? Um, I can be the backside. Okay. All right, it's my turn. <laughs> All right. All right. You had arrived in hell. Why? You died, obviously. The reason why you hadn't gotten to heaven was because you had fought and killed many people in the past. During one of your fights, you were outnumbered. That didn't stop you from beating their asses, however. As you were stomping the main guy to the ground, you failed to realize that one of the men that you had knocked down pulled out a pistol and shot you, resulting in your death and, showing, and you showing up to hell. It didn't seem all too bad. You wandered the streets, avoiding all the demons along your path. A small stroll led up to a large hotel. Happy hotel, you read out loud. You hesitantly opened the door and greeted with a girl in a suit. Hello, and welcome to the happy hotel. How may I be of service? She grinned. She was able to, you were able to get a better look at her. She had pale skin and had light pink cheeks with blonde hair. She wore a suit, as previously mentioned. Um, you started. Yes, may I have a room? Why, yes, I'm sure you have a room. I'm sure we have a room opened up right this way. 
you, she grabbed you gently and led you to the front counter. Thank you, miss. He paused. My name's Charlie. What's yours? Did we go with Taurus? Yes, yeah, Taurus. Okay. Taurus, nice to, meet, nice to meet you, Charlie. Charlie grinned more and nodded. She handed you a key. Here's your room key. The number is some letter and number. <laughs> Why is there 137 oh. comments on this one line? <laughs> oh my god. I can't even Who open it. Who has that many ideas? <laughs> um, I can't even open it. <laughs> 12 a a a a a 24 <laughs> <laughs> you nodded with a smile before walking up the stairs it took some time but you finally found your room and unlocked it you haven't gotten to see your face in hell yet so you decided to take a look your glance at the mirror in the bathroom only to flinch you had horns of a bull and a septum piercing you were a bull-like demon oh wait you we gotta pick our mm -hmm. hair color and our eye color yet all right, hair. Well, hold on, I gotta add a new line. <laughs> okay. All right, what's what's our hair color? Um, orange. All right, and our eye color. Um, purple. <laughs> I'm gonna be a fucked up looking bull. <laughs> yep. You still had your orange in, in mid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we sure did. <laughs> What's your purple who's? Guess guess that's why my head felt a lot heavier, huh? You chuckled slightly, saddenly. You felt slightly embarrassed of your look, but shrugged it off with a confident laugh. You walked out of the bathroom and took a look around. Looks as poor, shall we? You said to yourself and proceeded to exit your room. A few hours had passed as it was getting dark. Maybe it's hell, there's no sky, so whatever. You went up to your room and checked in for the night and walked in. You screamed. What the hell? There, laying in front of your bed was a slutty-looking spider, almost naked, sleeping in your bed. No, 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 no. Your face felt like... on. Your face felt like fire. He wasn't that bad-looking. Don't ask how you could tell he was a he. Okay. I'm a little scared. <laughs> yeah, that's... He just that's broke that's into our lot. fucking room? He has his own room! This is... <laughs> Alright. He was fully white, fluffy, and had pink dots in the shape of hearts around his face and other body parts. Next to the bed was a pair of very kinky-looking boots, the color of hot pink. You also took notice of his clothes. They weren't on him, but scattered around the room. The most you could see was pink stripes going across the torso and a very pimp-like suit. You gently shook his body. His only response was a light groan and him turning away from you. Uh, excuse me, mister? You shook him again. He didn't budge, and you grew to your limit. Hey, buddy! You shook him so hard, the whole downstairs heard the noise. He screeched and fell off of the bed. Oops, you quietly whispered, but regained your angry stance as he stood back up. What the f- Wait, this isn't my room. He looked around in a daze. <laughs> yeah, because it's mine! You stomped your hooved foot at him. He jumped and looked at you with a shit-eating grin. Oh. Oh? You said mocking and piss. I don't know who you think you are, bud, but it's best you get the hell out of here before I make you. All right, hold your horses, sugar. He sat down and slipped his boots on. Your breath caught in your throat. Did he seriously just flirt with you? Right after he slept in your room, you huffed out, of, you huffed out your nose, smoke puffing out, almost cartoon-like. You glanced. He glanced up at you with a smirk on his face until he realized just how angry you were. Well there, girl. Don't get your taco in a twist. That's it. You charged Jesus at him. Christ. Ice black mixed in with red. You managed to av you managed to avoid your attack. All right, all right. I'm sorry. I love how this X reader is happening. <laughs> it's just us. Yeah. Fucking trying to kill him at this point. <laughs> you lifted your head up and glared. You had no intentions of killing this hot, fluffy spider, but you did want to make him feel the worst pain. He had all four arms raised. And what makes you think I'm just gonna let you off like that? You growled out. A shit is and grin formed once more. How about if I do this? Before you could say anything, you were pulled into a passionate kiss. That's assault. It's real uh, assault. He pulled... <laughs> yeah, this is not consensual. Um, he pulled away with a smile, leaving a huge red blush on your face. Does that make up for it? You backed away and towards the door. He stared at you, confused. Before his white cheeks became a slight color of pink as he heard the sound of the door lock click. You charged at him again, but this time with other things happening. I don't like this. <laughs> 
I don't I I don't wanna finish <laughs> two sentences. Mess with the bull, get the horns. Moo bitch. Ugh. Moo bitch. Alright. <laughs> that was a chapter. Uh yeah, it was. All right, I have this... a feeling the rest are also going to be like this. Oh, God. All right, this is an Alistair X reader. Oh. Oh, God. What? It doesn't say what we are. I guess we're just a normal imp demon, so... I, I what, guess so. What would our name be in hell? Uh. <laughs> Evil. <laughs> Evil? Evil. I, I love it. Alright, eye color? Red. <laughs> Alright, uh, hair color? White. Nice, okay, we're getting a bit different now, okay. Yeah. Alright. Alright, Alistair X Reader, called Dance With Me. Alright, hopefully this isn't out of character for <laughs> Alistair. We'll see. Hopefully not. <laughs> you have lived in hell for a while. You actually were very popular. Not like you care, but it did result in you meeting of new demons and such. You actually got to meet Lucifer's daughter, Charlie. Not only her, but you also met Angel Dust, Husk, Nifty, Baxter, and Baggy. One fateful day, you had met Alistair, the radio demon. Boy, let me tell you something. He scared the shit out of you the first time you met him. You peeked your head around the corner as Vaggy threatened him. You couldn't quite hear what she said to him as Angel Dust was whispering in your ear. Who is he? Really? Vaggy literally just explained to us who he was. You gave him a nasty look. A signature look of yours. Yeah, but I wasn't really paying attention. He smirked and stuck his... Stuck his popsicle in his mouth. You turned around, facing Angel Dust, with your mouth slightly open, ready to tell him off. Before you could, however, Charlie tapped you on the shoulder. Guys, I would like you to meet Alistor. You looked around with a small smile that quickly fell as you got a good look. He was very tall with a suit on, making him look like some sort of a pimp. I don't like the inclusion of the word pimp in both chapters. It it actually is <laughs> the like I I think after Vaggy explained, he's like, he doesn't look threatening, he looks like a strawberry-looking pimp. <laughs> oh, God. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Every inch of his body was either black or a shade of red. His pure red eyes stared at you. He had small deer horns on top of his head with hair that stood up, possibly ears. He sucked in a quick breath. He was hot <laughs> and fucking scary as shit. He held out his long, clawed-fingered hand. Hello, it's very nice to meet you all, he smiled, but... He he never was not smiling in the first place. Hi, I'm evil. <laughs> <laughs> you regained your smile, but more fake than the last. Angel Dust stood up and threw his popsicle somewhere. You're probably going to have to clean that up later. Name's Angel Dust, hun. He got close to Alistair. The dear demon did not seem to like his personal bubble being busted by Angel. Right. His eyes seemed to be more cold as Angel got closer. Why, we'll be helping you all at this hotel. You glanced at Charlie skeptical. You sure you want to you sure you want to go through with this, Charlie? I mean, what if he does decide to murder us? Charlie waves her hand. I trust him. Plus, we need all the help we can get. You nodded. I guess. I just, I don't really like the look of that guy. A few weeks have passed and you've gotten to know Alistair and he wasn't as bad as you thought he was. He was still a psycho, but he was was sane enough for you. You had learned that he actually liked to sing and was on the radio broadcaster back when he was still alive. He had always had a passion for singing and music, and as well as dancing. Every now and then you would catch him humming and dancing as he thought he was alone. You also... God damn it. You also grew feelings <laughs> for the musical deer. You didn't... You didn't tell anyone. Telling Angel would probably result in him telling Alistair. Baggy would get angry, and Charlie would probably try to get me to tell him. That was a hell no on your side. You sighed and looked off, still stuck on your thoughts, not knowing that Alistair was heading in your direction. Excuse me. Evil. Is everything alright? He gently put his hand on your shoulder. 
You jumped up and swung around in a battle stance. He stared at you, not scared at your stunt before concerned at your well-being. Al, don't, stare, don't scare me like that. I'm sorry, my dear, but I was just curious. He held his hand out in an apologetic way. You were tempted to grab it. You held your own hands. It's okay, Al, you just scared me is all. He smiled, more calm-like. All right, as long as you're okay. He smiled at his worry, or how sweet of him. He stared off into the unknown, just like you had before. You couldn't help but look at him, his face. He was just so amazing. You took notice of you, he took notice of you staring and flushed with a light pink while clearing his throat. You snapped out of your daze and blushed. Ah, sorry. No worries, darling. He stood up. You looked at him and stood up as well. He looked at you with a nicer smile. He took your hand in his and wrapped one arm around your waist. You gasped, surprised. Uh, Alistair, what are you doing? Hush, my dearest. Dance with me. But there's no music playing and I can't dance. You nervously looked down at your feet. You don't need music to dance. As for the dance, I will guide you. But first, he gently lifts your head up. I, I need your eyes on me. I looked at him. Mm. Still, af I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah, I'm not excited for <laughs> this. I have fright right now. I'm in my, f my flight or flight right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm either going to get away or I'm going to get the fuck away. <laughs> mm-hmm. You looked at him, still afraid. He started to hum a tune that was catchy. You walked with him almost perfectly. His hum became louder with the better you got at dancing. You grinned as he basically singing at this point because how much you had improved. You looked at him, a large bless in your face and a proud look on his face. He spun you around, catching you off guard. He never, he never dropped you and spun you back to him and then proceeded to dip you. You blushed. I asked for words. That was... was... <laughs> Alistair... Alistair beams your face closer to him. Spectacular? You nodded, too surprised to speak. Alistair chuckled... <sighs> God damn it. Alistair chuckled and kissed you on the lips. Your eyes okay. widened as he grinned. He melted into the kiss. Your lips started having a rhythm to them in their own. He pulled away with a smile, and you were left panting for breath. <sighs> I don't want to well. read it. <laughs> I don't want to read it anymore. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Uh, Evil, would you is... please be my little doe? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> of course, my buck. Oh my god. Also, just to let you know, it's very canon that he is aromantic and asexual. Well. So, uh. Not and, uh... anymore, I guess. <laughs> yeah. But cool canon representation. Thanks for ruining it, Wattpad user Kiwi <laughs> Comics. Alright, this. Okay, this is Serpentious X Female Reader. Ooh, alright, what's her name? We're gonna- I'm not slimy, I'm scaly. What- does it say what kind of demon we are? No? Shit. No, we're just scaly, I guess. <laughs> Maybe we're a snake. Maybe. But snakes are kind of slimy. Yeah. Some- some of them we are. We are a lizard. <laughs> Can we- Oh shit, if we were a lizard, can we name him Geico? <laughs> oh yes. Guy I don't think it's spelled Geico Geico. Okay, so it's G E I C O, right? For Geico? Yes. Alright. That is Geico. We we could ship the Geico wizard with Oh <laughs> my adventures. god. <laughs> Alright. I'm guessing green hair. We gotta have green hair. Yeah. For a lizard. Oh, what eye color? Um, yellow. <laughs> Man, we're going full lizard. Full lizard. Alright. Would you like to, <laughs> to start this one? I can. You're a brave soul. Thank you. I'm a brave lizard. <laughs> <laughs> You've been living in hell for as far as you could remember. Upon first arrival, you were lost, getting money by assassinating people for a fee. 
You found the happy hotel after completing a contract. Charlie greeted you with a smile. After that, you knew that the hotel was your destiny. You sighed and laid your head on your hand. You were currently at the bar that Husk runs. You, he gave you a side glance. Long day? He asked, being nicer for once. You hummed a response. You were one of the only few people that Husk was nice to. He slid you a drink. On the house. You gave him a weak smile and took a drink. Husk smiled back but quickly looked up in surprise. You fur your eyebrows and look over to find Charlie and a newcomer. And this is the bar! Charlie extended a hand in the direction of Husk and you. The new customer was a snake man. Oh, so I guess he's the... Whatever. We're a lizard. <laughs> he wore a hat that had a mouth and a single eye. The color of the eye was the same as his, red with a pinker color around the pupils. And he had designs of eyes under his torso and down to his tail. He was dark gray and had a hood. He wasn't look bad looking either. You grinned and winked in his direction. Maybe you could get something out of something from him. Maybe it's hard or something else. <laughs> if you catch my drift, are Jesus. For Christ. some reason I didn't like recognize that of like wanting to love him. I recognize that as like black market organs. Oh, <laughs> like you're yeah. trying to steal his organs. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I think that's a pretty penny for a snake art. <laughs> God. I mean, probably. Yeah. He took notice of you and widened his eyes. His hat took the same expression. You chuckled and turned back around. Charlie glanced at you in the back to Serpentius. This is Geico. <laughs> she doesn't work here. <laughs> God. Did you know that I could save you 15% or more on car insurance when you switched it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. He looks back at Charlie, a small blush arriving on his cheeks. You didn't see this. You were trying to act cool and drink your alcoholic beverage. Charlie nodded and signaled to the door. Would you like to see the rest of the hotel? Yes. After that small encounter, you had to see him more. You actually liked you he actually liked coming here, though he probably wouldn't admit it. He found out that he was planning to take over hell. Angel Dust had told you. You didn't care. He was still adorable to you. You walked around to your room and found Sir Pentius. His name was also found out by Angel Dust talking. You decided to have a little fun and flirt with him. What's the harm in that? Jesus. We're going to open up with, like, so, uh, uh, there's uh, pretty good uh, life insurances out there, but uh, I can offer you, <laughs> like, <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> That, this is canon for this character, the yes, character of Geico. Is. They will, they they're open sell up. Car insurance. Yeah, that's how they open up on first dates. They're like, so yes. uh, I can save you fifty percent or more when you uh, switch today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we offer boat insurance as well. Do you like boats? <laughs> uh, I can show you our um, car bundle. Um... <laughs> oh yeah, they do do that, like the house and car bundle. <laughs> Yes. You find out uh, you can save a lot of money if you uh, switch us today. And I can save you <laughs> some heart pain as I, uh, as I take oh my God. <laughs> just, just goes in between, like, selling insurance to flirting. <laughs> like, I mean, there's someone out there who that would definitely work on. I, I, I listen to a guy that's trying to sell me insurance and flirt with me. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Like, okay, yeah, save me money, King. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Hey, Sir Pentius, you jogged up to him, waving a hand frantically in order to get his attention. He turned around, some small egg boys walking also turned around. Oh, you you don't know any of these characters, so Sir Pentius has, like, a little army of eggs. Oh, okay. Okay. I understand. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> you're good, you're good. Well, hello, evil. You showed some items. Yo, Wait, no, no, no. Wait, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> Geico, Geico, Geico. I don't have the, um... For our viewers, I don't have the extension that replaces words. So I have to rely on my brain, which clearly fails me at some times. Okay, Geico, Geico. Items in the egg boy's hands and then ran off. Hey, Pen, can I plug call you Pen? You draped an arm over his shoulder. Riz! Riz! 
Yo, uh, Geico got Riz! Geico got Riz! I, I'd prefer if you'd not. He raised an eyebrow and his tongue flicked out snake-like. I'm going to anyways. So, Pen, what else? That tongue- What the hell? <laughs> What's going on? We're sexually harassing a <laughs> guy. Geico snake right is sexually harassing a snake. Yeah, they don't got Riz anymore. <laughs> no, 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 no. They got a charge. His eyes on his face and eye hat widened. His face flushed a red hue. Two can play at that game. What do you- No. No, 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 no. Do you want me to read it? If you feel so inclined. <laughs> this is like the fucking Sanji one where you had to be going, Nami Swan. No yeah. one wanted to read it. Um, what do you want it to do? The babies? <laughs> 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 this is so hard. <laughs> okay, um, your eyes widened. You weren't uh, expecting him to flirt back. He didn't even look like he'd be the one to flirt. He backed away slightly, red in the face. Don't, do not touch me, slimy man. What's going on? Wow, we just engaged, like, we just sexually harassed it, and when he did a bag, he's like, whoa, stop yeah, that. Yeah, this is weird. <laughs> Do not touch me, slimy man. Alright. He frowned his eyebrows. I'm not slimy, I'm scaly. He grabbed you by the waist and slammed his um, lips against yours. We're um, both sexually harassing each other. This is, like, nightmarish. I didn't move. Stunned. After a few seconds, you grabbed him by the clothes and pulled him closer, making the kids more passionate and heated. He pulled away and grinned at you. Hmm. Mm. No. <laughs> mm -mm. You can't call me Pen, but you can call me. I don't want to call him Sir. <laughs> yeah. No. 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 <laughs> that makes me feel gross. <laughs> no. Yeah. This is this is rough. <laughs> yes. You give him a quick peck on the lips. Geico. Angel <laughs> does start and stared at you, mouth agape, but it's born into a smirk. Holy shit. You just made out with Egg Lord. <laughs> <laughs> he glanced at your newfound boyfriend with the smirk. His face was be beat red. It's serpentious to you. Angel just rolled his eyes. Whatever, dude. Just make sure you use protection. He walked away, leaving you and Egg Lord red. I don't know. <laughs> hate this. <laughs> You're telling me this isn't your favorite book? Um... Hmm, about that. Alright, we'll do one more. If you want, okay. you can pick which one, which chapter we read. Um. Happy Pride Month looks kind of funny. But it might be an author's note. Oh, it's an so author's let's note. let's see. <laughs> okay, um, never mind. <laughs> um, unhappy Pride Month. <laughs> Where the fuck is that? Oh, you were um, just saying a joke. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I thought it was another author's note. So no, I would have laughed <laughs> my ass off. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. Let's see our options. So it's uh, um, Fly Kitty High, uh, Kerbis, Air Bomb, Old Roommates, and Meeting Charlie's Parents. Um, I I guess fly kitty fly. Let's right. see what that is gonna be. Oh, we have art. It's husk. Husk. We're a bird. We're a bird. We're the biggest bird right now, dude. Oh, we are massive. All right, we're a bird. So, what would a bird name be? That would be cool. Hmm. Cool bird name. <laughs> Talon. How do you spell that? T A L O N. All right. Uh, eye color. I'm guessing black. I feel like black would be pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right. Hair color. Blue. Blue. Da boo dee da boo da. Exactly. All right. I think this would be the last one we read. <laughs> okay. I don't think we can take any more of this. <laughs> no. Yeah. If they keep being like this. Oh. 
They're hard to get through. <laughs> Alright, Husk X Bird Reader. You wake up in bed, yawning. It was early morning, maybe. You stretch your wings out, letting... Letting satisfying pops sound on your joints. You smile and walk into the hotel bathroom. Yes, you lived in a hotel. What hotel, you ask? Well, it's the Happy Hotel, of course. You worked there, being a bird that had perks. As your job, you flew into the air and waved a flag. The flag read, Happy Hotel. Inside, every demon is a rainbow. People were here in hell for a reason. Maybe they committed murder, so people shot at you a lot. But, but they did have terrible aim. You walked out of the bathroom and into an appropriate outfit. Outfit of your choice. All right. <laughs> well, I don't know what our bird boy would have. Um, leather jacket. <laughs> oh yeah, we have a cool leather jacket. Yeah, we Our are so cool. Super appropriate outfit for work. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on where you work. You walked up the stairs that led you to the roof, flag in hand. As you watched, you passed Huss and gave him a small wave. He responded with a nod of acknowledgement, and you never spoke to him at most with small waves. You did feel a slight connection to him, though. Maybe it was the fact that you both acted similar. Reached the top floor and inhaled slowly. Ah, finally. You put one of your bird legs up and took your talls to grip the flag. You flapped your wings roughly and rose into the air. You enjoyed the wind ruffling your feathers. That is, until you heard a gunshot and a sharp pain in your left wing. Oh, oh my god. We got shot. Damn. We are getting shot. Damn. I thought they said they had terrible aim. We just took I guess off. Not. We just took off and we got shot. <laughs> Apparently. Damn, Jesus. That sucks. <laughs> you flapped desperately in order not to crash. You didn't get very high up, which was a relief. You smacked your fist against the bricks and scratched your beak a bit. Shit! You tried to pick yourself up, but failed. Thankfully, Husk had heard the commotion and rushed upstairs to find you on the ground with a bloody wing and scratched up face. I want to put as a note, it would be really mm -hmm. funny if it just, like, ended there. Like, it was supposed to be a Huck sex reader, and we just <laughs> go to fly and get shot and die. Uh, yeah. I think that that... <laughs> it, that's probably a better ending than what we're gonna get. It's a prediction. You're probably right. But we'll see what happens. What the hell happened? He rushed to your side with worry, lacing his voice. I was shot. That's what the hell happened. You flinched and heard an. Uh, you flinched and reached an unhurt wing out. Husk grabbed your wing and helped you up. Do you know which blaster did this? You shook your head and whined. No, but I really need help right now. Right, right. Let's go. Husky. Husk pulled you gently with him in the direction of the inside. He arrived to the rest of the gang. Alistair, Charlie, Angel, Angle Dust. <laughs> They sure did spell it angle dust. <laughs> and baggy. Uh, he had you wrapped up in his arms. They stood there, shocked. Don't just stand there, help her. They shook themselves out of their days and rushed to you. Charlie started with questions. Alistair refused to let Angel touch you like an overprotective dog. How'd this happen? Are you in pain? Are you going to be alright? Charlie was fast walking with the group as they rushed you to a shitty hospital. You still crippled over in pain, did not answer her questions. Instead, you leaned on Husk. His response to your contact was to flush a red in the cheeks. Although it was an inappropriate time to be embarrassed, he couldn't help himself. In a quick time, you and your group of friends arrived at the hospital. After a few weeks, your wound healed. Your wound wasn't fatal but se or serious, so it healed nicely. You just couldn't get back to work too soon, but you really wanted to go out go back to work. It kept you nicely paid and you were you were in real need of money. You walked up the stairs going to the top of the hotel. Your intentions weren't to defy doctor's orders, but you liked the wind and the freedom. Aren't you supposed to be inside resting? Hus's voice was sudden, which scares you half to death. Hus, Jesus Christ. You turned around and clutched your chest and gasped. He chuckled and walked up to you. So, what are you doing here? He s stopped next to you and put a hand on his hip. You mocked him and chuckled. 
Just enjoying the view, I guess. You shrugged and turned your gaze from Hus to the view up. Hus followed your look and watched the red the red of the sky shimmer. His eyes slowly went down and focused on your face. Oh, my... What color is our beak? Um, our beak is... Black? Alright, our... Our black beak shined in your black dazzled brightly. He found his face flushed again and him being memorized by you and all and your glory. You turned to his direction to Huss, who tore his eyes away from you. You turned your full body to him. Can you do me a favor? Uh, yeah, sure. He tilted his head. What will you, what will you have me do? Well, could you... You pause and lean your head against his... Oh, okay. Hearing his heartbeat. Hold up the sign and fly it around. He paused and looked at you. Um, I never used these wings before, he said. Please, I'll split the money. 50-50. Oh, you begged. He sighed and grabbed the flag into his hands. He flew up into the air, waving it around. No gunshots were heard. He smiled, slightly surprised. Fly, kitty, fly! He looks down at you with a questioning eyebrow quirk. Really? You snickered and watched him. After a long while, the shift ended and he came back down. You hugged him and laughed. That was great! He chuckled and put one of his hands on your back and cupped the underside of your beak. Your face flushed and you looked at him with a curious glint. He sighed, nervous. You know... Oh god. Uh, uh, Talon. Talon. Yeah. <laughs> I have always loved you. From the day you started here to now. I, I love you, Talon. His face was just as red as the main color on his wings. Your face was red as hell, literally. I I love you too, Husk. He <laughs> pulled his head forward and landed a passionate ki- How? How do birds kiss? Uh, How long is our beak? <laughs> I, um, I don't know. Let me look at the picture of him again really quick. Okay, it's not bad. It's not bad. Um... About the size of his, I guess. His melted into the kiss and kissed back, more passion filling it. You pulled away for air and smiled widely. He you kissed your cheek and laughed at your slight childish behavior. You pulled away from the hug and walked to the entrance. Hey, where are you going? Husk asked and walked to you. You turned around with a grin on your face. My bedroom. You should join. Okay. Then you walked off. Husk stood there, red and excited. He ran to your retreating figure. Okay. Got a little smutty, but overall good. I don't know yeah. <laughs> if that's a good uh, observation. <laughs> well, half of that statement was true. <laughs> yeah. God. So, how'd you like it? <laughs> um, you know... <laughs> it, it, was, it was something... No, that is true. It was something. It was, in fact literature that we did read so there's that <laughs> um it it had a habit of like t completely like turning 180 uh at the end it had a habit of uh no consent <laughs> yeah there's a lot of no consent here especially yeah. the serpentious one holy shit yeah, that was ridiculous. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah, I didn't like that. Well, if if you guys want to read this, we'll have it in the description down below if you want to read the other parts. Um, but now it's time for the wheel to bless us once again with a book representation. Let's go. All right, go live because you gotta see this beautiful wheel that we have. A lot of options. Let's hope it's a better one. Yeah, let's let's see what we got. <gasps> yes! Uh oh. Wait. Oh. Oh. oh, oh. oh. Okay, it's Luffy okay. X Reader. <laughs> okay. Okay, this one actually would be good. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> oh, I hope I don't spoil you too much with One Piece stuff. Nah, it's okay. It's been out for a long time. <laughs> It, it's fine, and I have some friends who like it, so... Okay. 
God, so more One Piece content for you guys. Yep. <laughs> First fucking Zosun and now Luffy. Mm -hmm. We're bringing the monster trio all together. Yep. All right, so I guess the next time we uh, come on here, we'll be reading a uh, Luffy X reader. I'll we will. We hopefully, we'll find a better one than this book. <laughs> I'm crossing my fingers and praying. <laughs> We're gonna pray to whatever god to make sure that we get the right <laughs> book in our hands. Yeah. Maybe we should pray to the wheel. Maybe. I should retitle it from fanfiction roulette to the wheel consequences. Cause I <laughs> <laughs> but uh, my name is Phoenix. This has been Coda with me. Hello. And uh, we'll see Goodbye. you guys next time. <laughs> All right, have fun. Yeah, well, I don't know about fun. <laughs> yeah, uh, we'll see what happens. Alrighty, bye-bye.